Thanks for joining me today. My name is Nick Despotidis with Keller Williams Capital Properties. So happy to have you here. We're going to be talking about two hacks when buying a house and paying less per month. That's right, two hacks that you may or may not know of that I'd like to share. So two things that a lot of people contemplate with their lenders is paying money for points. Points are something that you could purchase from your lender and they cost 1% of the loan amount. So if you have a million dollar loan, it's gonna cost you $10,000 for that point. So that's a good amount of money, um, but it might be worth it. $500,000 loan amount, that's $5,000 a month. It might, it might be worth it to pay that point. Now what does that get you and is it worth buying? And why buy it in the first place? Well, you wanna pay that point because it gets you a lower rate. Now in a decreasing rate environment where rates are going down, probably not advisable to buy that rate right down. Why? Because in the end of the day, you're gonna refinance. A 5% interest rate, market predicts um, in 2024, 2025, that rates will be at 4.8%. You might wanna just wait till rates go down. Yes, you'll have to pay the higher monthly cost per month until then, but you know it's better than paying the point, that 10,000 or 5,000 up front, and then not using it to its full, fullest capacity. Now, if you're really on a tight budget and you really want to pay down the rate, go ahead, pay that $5,000, $10,000 a month, but make sure you ask your lender how much that's going to save you and how long that's going to take to pay off. Because if it's going to take eight years to pay off, then it doesn't, th that doesn't make sense if you're to refinance in two years. But if, if, if you're in an increasing rate environment or a rate environment that's very steady, so if they're four, four and a half, and they're staying strong, which they won't be this year in 2023, they're gonna remain around five and a half, uh, you would wanna um, buy the points if you're around four, four and a half. Why? Because over time, you're not gonna be able to refinance. Rates are gonna to continue to be at a st steady level. So if that's the case, buying points would be a very smart idea, a very smart conversation to have. That's a little bit about rate buy down. Now, a little, a little trick. I'm not sure if all states give this, but in DC, what's called the Mortgage Credit Certificate Program basically allows first-time home buyers to buy um, a, a tax incentive. So yes, you do have to invest. It's about four to $6,000. But what it does is gives you back 20% of the taxes you've paid over the year. So if you paid $10,000 in taxes, you get a $2,000 rebate at the end of the year. Again, what is this called? Mortgage Credit Certificate Program, MCC. Every state has it and offers it, but sometimes <laughs> the funds run out and they often do in DC. So check your state for the Mortgage Credit Certificate Program. And why am I telling you about this? Not only is it a great tax incentive, again, you pay 4,000 for it, but it gives you two grand a year in for the life of the loan. So two grand, two grand, two grand. After just two years, it's gonna pay off. Uh, you could also use that for your purchasing power. Again, a good way to increase your purchasing power is by buying one of these MCCs, Mortgage Credit Certificate, and it will go towards your purchasing power. So that $10,000 rebate would then be, you know, roughly $180 a month more in purchasing power. So crazy hacks. How do you get more bang for your buck and how do you increase your purchasing power? Buy down the rate, that'll increase your purchasing power. Buy one of these MCCs if they're available. And then the third one is what we talked about in a previous uh, YouTube video is um, buying down your PMI. It's paying that PMI upfront so you don't have that cost and it, lo it increases your purchasing power um, and lowers your monthly payment by paying that PMI down. So thanks for joining me. Great episode. I hope you learned a few hacks that you can or cannot use for home buying in 2023. I'll talk to you soon. Join me then for the next episode. Make sure you like and subscribe.